I'm Dr. Jan McBride, and I'm going to show you how to make a protective face shield for when you go out and about during the coronavirus pandemic. The year is 2020. This is the face shield we're going to be making. And this is how you wear it. This face shield is not made from any medical grade components because these are in high demand throughout the country. Instead, this face shield is made from recycled soda bottles. Let's get started. These are the items we're going to be using. First of all, of course, a soda bottle. And we need one, clear of course. And you want one that's smooth and not with the ridges and shaping that a lot of uh, soda bottles have. This happens to be a Sam Soda from Walmart. Then we have scissors, uh, craft knife or other sharp knife, Sharpie, scotch tape. The staplers are going to be used as weights, so you can use something else similar. Then we have a glue gun. Now this stick is for applying glue to the plastic bottle because the um, glue gets so hot that it melts the plastic and deforms it, so we have to let it cool a bit. We have a, cur a tape measure for curved surfaces and then a regular ruler. These fasteners from an office supply store uh, will be used to shape the shield. Then we have hair ties or ponytail holders. I like these thin ones because they give more elasticity even though they don't have neutral colors. Electrical tape for the trim and a little more fancy bling tape for more decorative surface. And then a uh, soft towel or something to make a soft surface so we don't damage the bottle. So these are our items. Let's get started. Okay, we're starting with the bottle and we're gonna cut off the bottom. Now you wanna handle this very carefully. That's why I have the soft pad. We don't wanna scratch or scuff the surface cause that will distort the view. And the view is gonna be either around here or here, depending on which way you use it. And it depends on your bottle. This bottle has a little line here that goes all the way around. So that gives you a reference for having a, an edge to, um, use when you go to, to straighten the edge. Um, so I'm going to cut it so we have some extra space here. I'm going to cut kind of into this curve and that'll give us some extra because it's going to come out not real straight and we'll even it up after that. I like to use something sharp to get the cut started and then either scissors or another sharp knife, whichever you prefer, to finish the cut. So there's our cut. Next thing we're going to do is remove the label. We're going to look inside to see where it's glued. It's usually right about at the edge here and we're going to remove the label. And don't worry about this stuff. We're not going to use it. We're going to save the label. We'll be using that in a moment. So we're going to cut vertically right next to the glued area. to the top. Next we're going to measure 11 inches from this cut to make our next cut. This bottle is a little over 13 inches so I'm going to make a mark right there at 11. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Okay. 
and we'll eyeball that. It looks pretty straight, so we're going to cut up that cut all the way to the top and then cut this piece off. And we're going to save this because we'll be using this. Now we're going to use our label to protect the surface of the bottle. We're going to cut off the glue area. We don't want any glue there because that'll leave a mark. I'm going to cut this in half. And we want it in the center on both sides. If there's a little bit of dampness still left in the bottle, this sticks pretty well. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to cut the top. And we're going to cut just a little bit into the curve so that, again, we have a little excess to remove. Because we will be cutting the curve off. Not using that. to even up this edge and this is the one with a little faint line there and I want to cut about maybe three-eighths a quarter inch outside the line so there's a couple ways to do it I get it where I can see the line and the reflection and I can just cut this and eyeball it that's pretty good but if you want to be more precise I'm going to lie it on the pad and then this edge on my cutting surface and I'm just going to line up my straight edge and cut it with my craft knife. Okay, so that gives me a nice straight edge. Now I'm going to take my template from the website and cut the bottom shape of the shield. I need to push these up a bit. Boy, they're sticking pretty well. If they don't stick totally, just take a little piece of scotch tape on the bottom corners. We don't want to put anything up at the top. So this we have to uh, fight with it a little bit. We're going to line up the top with the template. Now your shield may be a little longer or a little shorter than the template. Don't worry about it. Um, this one's a little shorter, so we're going to start by lining it up on one side. And just cut. To the middle. Then we're going to push it to the other side here hold it and then go from there this truly does not have to be exact You're not really going to see the edge okay so we have our shield we're done with that now we're going to work on the top edge here and the way we're going to do this is to Bring up our padding. If you have a um, little bit sturdier straight edge, that can help. And then we're going to use our staple, staplers as weights. So the first thing we're going to do, we want the entire edge exposed here, is we're going to cut a quarter inch slit into the top plastic here. And that it's going to just give it a little more flexibility when we start working with it. We start at about a three quarters of an inch and then we're going to make this slit every 
half inch more or less. Just eyeball it. And I'm not really able to see it real well through this with this towel. So I'm going to put this template here just to let me uh, get a better view of it. Okay, now we're going to mark the center of this edge and we're going to do it with a sharpie with a tiny dot because anything you put on this plastic with a sharpie does not come off. So I'm going to get my tape measure. It's going to measure about 11 and it's a little bit short so I'm just going to center that, move it like looks like a eighth of an inch will work and then I'm going to mark it at five and a half which is half of 11. So there's my center. Now I'm just going to leave this here Okay, now I'm going to take the strip that I had cut from the bottle and I want to try to get three strips out of here. So uh, this is a new simplified design and I'm going to have to use some of this part. But first I'm going to get my two clear strips. So I'm going to cut through here. And just let it get narrower at the end as it does, that's fine. Then I'm going to cut this into two. These are going to be the side headbands. And the other one I'm going to get, I'm going to go, there's a, some paper here. And this is a wider area of glue, so I'm going to get to this narrower area. But I do need about three quarters of an inch. So let's see how it goes. Now this one we don't have to go all the way up, but we'll just put that off. So let me put down this label I have here so we can see this better. Okay, I'm going to use my craft knife to see if I can scrape off this label that's on the glue and figure out how I can do this so you can see it and I can get to it because putting it on the towel doesn't help. And it's okay if it's kind of rough. I guess I should actually measure this first because I know I'm going to use a little over six inches, probably about go to seven inches. So while I'm measuring it, I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I'm going to put a dot at six inches on that side and a dot at one half inch on this side. And then I'm going to just I can cut it so I know I don't have, well, I'm, it's pretty much the whole area with the label anyway, so it looks like it wouldn't have made any difference, but if you have some label and glue further down, that way you cut it off, you know you don't have to do that part. So we're going to finish doing this. Okay, so that came off a little bit easier on that second side. Okay, so now where we have our dots, I'm going to cut a slit. Going a little more than halfway through the strip. And we going to feel which side is sticky. The sticky side will go inside as we curl it. So we're going to curl it up, sticky part inside, match up our dots and slits and push the slits together. 
Make sure both slits open so they go all the way through. And we have a loop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing our loop to the center of the sh uh, shield top. And they're going to match up the dots so the dot on the shield is in the center. And these other two dots are actually pushed in toward, into the shield about a quarter inch. So it's going to be something like that. You may need to zoom in and look at that. Okay, so to glue this, this is where we're going to use our stick because the glue, if you apply it directly to this plastic, it is so hot it will melt and deform everything. So we're going to slide this out of here a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to put the glue on the stick count about four seconds, <clears throat> one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, and then apply it across there, and we can press it immediately right in the center. You want it perpendicular with the edge of the shield. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So this is going to be the portion that keeps the shield away from your nose, eyeglasses, and face. So that's what this is, like a little padding. Okay, we need to make this a little stronger because it kind of wants to go up and down here. So we're going to take one of the other strips we cut uh, from the uh, leftover bottle. And we're going to measure a piece two and a half inches. And we're going to cut it there. And then this doesn't have to be exact, but we're going to fold up about a half inch on each side. A little jagged area there and it's a little uneven now but that's okay so this we're going to glue right in the center of this piece and then we're going to glue the ends now it doesn't look like it's going to do a lot but once the glue is there it is going to give it some structure so so again we're going to use our stick and as the glue gets hotter, you'll have to wait longer to apply it. Uh, so I would count to probably about at least five this time. Just going to wait a little bit. Now I actually didn't center this over where the slit was. I kind of put it so that the top fold is pretty much even with the top of the shield. So that's where I want to glue it. Okay. Now before I glue these I want to put a crease where these tabs are. So that's going to be our structure. So now we have a little more structure here. Now we're going to glue these other ends. And I think I got started to get just a little bit of heat on that last one, so I definitely want to wait at least that long, maybe slightly more. You don't need a lot of glue on these tabs. If you apply the glue and press it pretty quickly, then that other side of the plastic takes up some of the heat, so that 
is one way to keep it from getting deformed. Sometimes it can't be real fast. Okay, so that gives us more structure. It's not going to roll around a lot, so I'm happy with that. So the next thing we need to do is give some structure to this part of the shield. And so we're going to use our fasteners. These are from an office supply store. They're designed for holding reports. Uh, you lift the prongs, put in the paper with the holes in it, put the prongs down. Uh, now there's adhesive here, so we're not, we will be using it at some time, but not on this piece. But we will have to take the paper off. So we're going to be placing this piece right at the top edge of the shield, about in the middle of it, just like that, so we can eyeball it. Now you may notice when you weren't looking, I actually put some little pads on my index finger and my thumb. And that's just one of these little cotton pads that you use for applying makeup or whatever. And I just cut little squares like this, use some scotch tape, to put around and I put a little bit over so it gets to the tip of my index finger. What this is for is because these metal pieces get very hot when you apply the glue. So that's a little protection. Um, I'm sensitive but uh, you just I would advise you use this. Um, the other thing is when we uh, put the glue on the metal, the metal because it soaks up the heat, we don't have to wait to apply it to the shield. So we're going to start with this one, and we'll put just kind of a thin bead, but cover it pretty clear, uh, thoroughly, and then a thicker bead or a little zigzag on the middle part, and then a thinner bead on this one. Otherwise it's just going to squish out. And then you'll feel the heat when you do touch it with your bare finger. And it's good to press it down with another instrument because it, the metal is hot. Now this, the purpose of this is to flatten the front of the shield where your visual area is. I don't want to take this completely off, but I just want to demonstrate here that we want this part of the shield to be flat. And you might even curve it a little bit, a, a little bit to keep it flat. And you can adjust it at any time. Uh, the the manufactured shields for healthcare people they're usually curved, but because this plastic is not the same quality, it causes a lot of reflections and distortions when it's curved. So we're trying to make this part flat. Although we will have some curves on the side. Next, we will put the pieces on the side. Now for this, we're going to trim off one prong on each piece. And the wide part is going to go to the outside. Now this is going to give us some curvature. So I'm going to let this one loosen up. I'm going to curve this This part will be fairly straight because we're going to start here and we're going to start actually at about this up here. We're going to start it at about one half inch from the end. And so it's going to go this way like that. And we'll have kind of a curvature. So you want to curve it initially because as as we glue it, we'll curve it onto. However, we're only going to start by gluing one half up to about the middle point here. So we're going to take the paper off. To about there. Okay, but we start with this end. Good thing I had my pads on. Start at this end, at about a half inch. The adhesive is there, so it's going to hold it. We're going to curl it up and stick it down. Okay. 
Now this adhesive isn't sticking a lot, don't worry about that. We're just getting it in place. So that's pretty good. We've got a little bit of a curvature there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. We can just lift this up now. So as you can see, we're getting a nice curvature to our shield. So we have it kind of straight in the middle, curved on the sides. Now we have these curves we have to deal with. Okay, so we're taking two more of our fasteners and we're going to slide this right up to where we stopped gluing so it's not sticking out. And then we're going to just angle it slightly to where the, this tip just touches the bottom edge of the shield. So we're going to glue it like that, so I need to get this out of the way. So we don't get that in there. Now before we do that, we're going to curve this slightly outward. Because that's how we're going to get remove this excess curvature which comes from the original bottle. Now we're only going to glue the top prong initially because it's going to be hard to get that in place and see where it goes without it sticking down. We're going to take the paper off. Go ahead and hold it either way. We're going to push it in and not let it go down until I see where the other end is going. Right about there. Okay. Now I had some curtain. Now it's sticking down in the middle, but I'm going to pull that back up. Well, gee, now it wants to stick. Okay, let it stick. Because we want to keep that curvature in there. And then we are going to glue down just this bottom prong. That should be in place. Don't worry about the little glue coming out because this will be covered up. So these are adjustable if your shield starts to get, you know, a little bit deformed, not wanting to go back into its curly shape, then just get it back in place. Okay, so we're going to do the same on the other side. So we've got a nice shaped shield that's got our curvature without too much distortion. Looks like this maybe got a little bit too heated. You see we've got a little crinkle in there. Uh, that happens sometimes, so I might have rushed that one a little bit. Probably won't be noticeable when you are wearing it. Okay, next we're going to put our side headbands on, and for this we're going to take the other strips that we cut from the remainder of our soda bottle. Now one of them we had already uh, cut two and a half inches off one end to use in the loop, but there should be plenty here because we only need six inches total, and we have over seven. 
So you'll see one end is narrow where the curvature was at the top of the bottle. That's going to go toward the back of the head. So this side is going to go on the outside of this top half inch of your shield. Now we have not yet glued this piece, so we're going to do that after we get this on. So we want this to be not perpendicular with the top of the shield. We want it to be a little bit of an angle, okay? And I'm going to show you by putting this little piece of paper, okay? So this would be perpendicular. We want it angled just slightly, just about like that. So we're going to angle it when we attach this piece to the shield. We're going to we're going to put at least a, a half inch in here, maybe a little bit more, so we have a good uh, connection. So I'm going to put glue on this, and I'm going to use my stick. The glue is still pretty hot. So again, at least five seconds. I'm going to put this on the outside. Try to get the glue all the way to the edge of this piece. There's our angle. A little pressure. So here is my angle on that. Okay, that's just so it will go to toward the center of the back of the head other than at the top of the head. And that makes it more stable. So we're going to do the other side. I'm going to just go ahead and cut that little corner off which gives me my angle I'm going to go with. It might have been a little bit too much. I'll not use quite that much angle. See that? It curled up. So this is plenty long, so I'm just going to cut that off. Try it again. Good. Here's my angle on that one. So it looks nice. Okay, now we're going to go back and re-glue these pieces here. And so we have from that inner part to here. Again, I'll use the pads on my fingers. That's why I haven't taken them off yet. To hold that. This can be kind of tricky. Don't put so much glue that it's going to get on your fingers. And then roll it. Now for the elastics, I have these hair ties. I like the thin ones because they are more stretchy. They have thicker ones, but they don't give you a lot of uh, stretch. And I use two, and I like to have the little metal piece at the bottom. So we're going to loop one inside itself and pull it like that. And this gives us a lot of elasticity. So these will go on the back, but I want to put them at a measurement of 5 inches from the edge of the shield here. So we're going to go at 
five inches, we're going to fold it. Actually, I want to fold it outward. So let's measure it on the inside. So now I'm going to fold it this way Just using my tape measure. I'm going to do the same with this one, starting at the shield. Go to five. Fold it out. Could take my little pads off now. So we're going to put one loop here and one loop on the other side. Now I'm not going to glue this immediately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these. And that's both for you and for whoever you might make a shield for that you can try it on. And then you can adjust it if you need to make this uh, strap on each side a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. We put our loop up. Now look what I did. I put these on the top. I can always turn them around, but at least they're both on the same side. Okay, so we're ready to do our trim. I always start with the basic trim, which is electrical tape, and we're going to start on the sides here, so it looks like I need to move this a bit, my label, I'm just going to cut that back, but I don't want to take it off yet because I will still be handling this some, so we're going to start, I just lining it up. It can be a little over the top, a little over the bottom. We'll trim it off. When you get to the top, I would go all the way out to the end of the shield. You can stretch it slightly as you go to co go around the curve. So, there is our basic shield. And you just kind of check it out. It looks to me like this. There's a little curvature here that's kind of out of place. I'm just going to trim that up a little. So just kind of look it over and uh, see that everything looks okay. Now here's what I like is the final touch, the personal touch. I'm going to take some, a little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkly tape here. I'm going to place this over the black, kind of center it. Now if you know you want to do this, you could do this without putting the black on first. So that's another option. But you can also overlay it, and that looks kind of cool. Let's do the other side. And then I'm going to take my gold. Now this may, actually I think I should Trim this right along that edge. So I'll take my gold
also center it. So that's my personal touch. Looks a lot better, huh? Uh, there's all kinds of options. You can find anything that you want to put on here and um, be creative. That's the fun of it. I hope you have enjoyed these video instructions on how to create this face shield from this soda bottle. I do have one alteration to give you and that is this loop at the forehead. In the instructions, I told you that when I put that inner piece in, that I lined it up with the top of the band like this. I find that it is more stable if there is a portion of the loop both above and below this band. It's very easy to fix. Just roll it upward and put new creases above and below, and it'll be just fine. I'm Dr. Jan McBride, and I hope you will accept my challenge at the GoFundMe website where you found the template for these face shields. Of course, donations are appreciated, but my main goal is to promote and distribute these face shields through a nonprofit organization. I believe these can help prevent coronavirus infections as we open our economy so our country can get back to normal. The challenge I am offering is for you to make a face shield for yourself and then make five additional shields and distribute them throughout your community to essential workers or anyone who has to be out and about. Also, on the GoFundMe website, you will find a single information page that you can print and provide with each face shield that you give out. This has instructions on how to clean it and take care of it, and it also has the same challenge for that person to create five additional face shields. I hope you will also send the GoFundMe address through your social media contacts. Thank you so much for watching this video.